Here we're going to introduce what are called parametric curves and parametric equations. And so the definition of a parametric equation is um, one in which your x-coordinate and your y-coordinates are each expressed in terms of a, another variable, which more often than not is, uh, is going to be t. And one of the reasons t is used so often is because parametric curves are useful in um, depicting motion or modeling motion in the real world. So, so you might, I mean, it might seem strange to you that we're um, we're separating our x and y coordinates and introducing another variable. Why would you want to do that? Why would you make something more complicated? Well, uh, it turns out that it's very useful because you you get certain pictures that you could never get uh, just by graphing functions like, you know you know, y equals x squared plus 1 or something like that. Um, it's, it's, this is kind of limiting in the sense of, in, the, in terms of what you can really get out. Um, whereas if you express your x coordinate and y coordinate in terms of time, in terms of another parameter called time, um, basically you're expressing how your x coordinate is changing and how your y coordinate is changing. And when you put the, that information together, you get a curve that was actually traced in a particular direction um, and could like fold back on top of itself so that you can graph things that aren't functions. So there's a lot of advantages to it um, and that's what we'll explore a little here. So um, here's our first example. You've got x equals 1 plus t and y equals 4t and t is going from 0 to 4. So like I like to, I like to use words uh, use language such as like t equals zero means like that's right now and you know t equals four is like four seconds from now and I imagine like that this curve get, is, is getting traced by like a particle or something and so like the particle where is the particle now and where is it four seconds from now um, so this we can fill out together pretty simply painlessly uh, when t is zero x is one when t is 1, x is 2, 3, 4, and 5. And when t is 0, y is 0. And then when it's 1, it's 4, 8, 12, and 16. So now let's go plot these points. 1, 0. Two, four. Uh, 3, 8, four, twelve, five, sixteen, And so there is some of our graph. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just connect the, connect the dots here. And one thing I want you to notice is that I did not put arrows on both sides of or both ends of this line segment as I would if I was graphing a line. And the reason is because I didn't graph a line. This is a line segment, right? When t equals zero, in other words, right now, where's the particle if we imagine a particle tracing this graph? Uh, right now, the particle is at one zero. So that right there, that's t equals zero, right? And then at after one second, where is it? It's at the point two four. So this there is t equals one. And then this is t equals two. T equals three. T equals four. So what we really have here is a line segment that was traced in a particular direction. And so like I'll put arrows here. I often put like arrows on my graphs just to indicate that this this line was traced in that direction. All right. So there's a parametric curve. Uh, what I want to do now is I want you to take out your calculator because we're going to look at this on the calculator to sort of get a, a better sense, a better intuitive feel as to how parametric uh, equations work. So in, in your calculator, go to mode and scroll down to where you have four options, par uh, function, parametric, polar, and sequential. Funk, pair, pole, and sec. Go over to parametric. 
All right, and that's how we're going to be able to, to graph parametric equations. Then go to your y equals, and you'll notice that you have x1 of t and, x and y1 of t to set up for a parametric equation. So for x1, you're going to put 1 plus, and the t button is where the x button normally is. See how it says x comma t comma theta comma n? If you press that, it's going to be a t in parametric mode. And for y2, or y1 rather, you're going to type in 4t. And now let's go to our window. So on our window, your t min and t max, well, that's the time. So we want this to trace from t equals 0 to t equals 4. So you'll do that. And t step, that, that really determines like the resolution of the trace. It's not such a big deal with lines, but if you're graphing something that curves, if you make your t-step too big, and it, like for instance it's supposed to be a circle, it'll look more like, like an octagon because if the t-step is too small, it, the, the graph is only, the, the calculator is only going to plot points every, you know, whatever, two seconds or one second. You want it to plot points kind of every 0.1 seconds or something like that. So I'd put in like 0.1 or 0 0.05. That's, that usually will be good enough. Uh, your x-min just make it uh, as it is here on this diagram here, just for now. So x min make it negative 5, x max 8, make your x scale 1, that's fine. y min, that's our y scale, make that negative 6, looks like. And then the y max, make that 20. And that y scale can be 1, that, that seems fine. And then hit graph. And so what you should see, and we may not have seen it on mine, because it's just on the computer, but what you should see is that the line gets traced in a certain direction, right? And, and you get it uh, exactly what we got here. Now what you can do is go back to your t min and t max and kind of mess around with those. So make your t min like negative 3 and your t max 2. You'll see you get sort of, looks like the same line, but different part of it got traced, right? And if you did your your window, your t min, you know, like negative 10, from like 10 seconds ago to 10, you'd get sort of the whole, at least as much as you can see, the whole line there. Um, and if we want to see where it ended, we have to expand our window. All right. So um, there's an introduction to parametric equations and how they work. On the next slide, I want you to try, or the next problem below, try that on your own. All right. Um, and then when you're done, unpause the video and take a look at what you got. So here's what you should have gotten. And again, um, I indicated the direction. This is going would turn out to be like a sideways parabola. Um, three seconds ago, that's where my particle was. And my particle in, in one second from now will be here. So again, notice that the, the one useful thing about parametric equations is they can graph pictures that aren't functions, right? Because this is not a function, because um, it doesn't pass the, the vertical line test, which we could never graph in our normal function mode, but we can in parametric mode. So there's an introduction to parametric equations. We'll do more of those. We'll do more with this in future videos.